welcome back it's so exciting <laughs> yes i cut my hair myself this morning and i'm vibing so that's the end of that not that anybody probably cares but i thought i'd address it anyway today is an extremely exciting video i'm gonna be going over my tbr list for the reading rush challenge which is from the 20th of the 26th of July. It was created by Ariel and Raylene. I will leave links down below with the Reading Rush and the creators. Now, I have already pre-picked my books, but I'm still excited to share them with you. It's not gonna be like a reaction to the questions because I obviously know what they are. Let's jump right on in. The first question is, read a book with a cover that matches the colour of your birthstone. I am an Aquarius which means I am a little February baby and the colour of my gemstone is amethyst. Woo! So for this I picked the book called Pet by Aquake Amezi. Uh, this book is on my TV on Goodreads. I haven't actually Got the physical copy yet it's coming in the post but this book is about a black trans teenager named jam she lives in a dystopian society where monsters don't exist but then she meets one and then i think it's just all about that i don't know much else about it if i'm honest i'm kind of going in blind with all of these books so i think that's a little bit more exciting um i know that it falls under ya fantasy and yeah i'm just really excited uh to read it too <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm so excited about this whole thing so the next question is read a book that starts with the word the for this one i picked this book here called the outsider by albert camus this book is all about a young man called Masalt who when his mother dies doesn't feel any grief or sadness and he doesn't really show a lot of emotion he then commits a crime spontaneously and doesn't feel remorse or guilt and it's all about um i think it's all about um acting in accordance to society's conventions and, and unwritten rules about emotion i believe i'm not sure i can't really remember that well but i'm really excited to read it i think it's definitely something that i'm going to be into <coughs> oh my god the next question is read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen not that this is important information but the way that i'm reading my books on my bookshelves is i've got them color coordinated and i'm currently going through my white colors of books this was the first book that had been turned into a movie that i've seen that was in my white collection so i've got here a clockwork orange by anthony burgess i think that's how you say it excuse me if i'm wrong this is the restored edition so it comes with lots of like different reviews and, and annotated pages and notes and uh transcript from the movies which is exciting i thought that the film was extremely thought-provoking and really interesting to watch uh from an analytical perspective and i'm really intrigued to see because I've not read this book before, I'm intrigued to see kind of like the language in the book and see how it, see if there's any differences, I guess, and see how well it got interpreted and adapted to the film. I am eager to read this book and I'm excited that it is in this challenge. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Question quattro read the first book you touch i'm going through my uh bookshelf in color order so this is just the first white book that i have not read which is on the shelf and it is generation by paula mcgrath i don't really know much about this book this i believe is about a young woman who time travels to go see her granddad as a young boy working in uh, mine shafts. I bought it because I liked the cover. <laughs> I'm really excited to read it. I think it's going to be good in the Reading Rush Challenge as well. Because look at the spacing. Like. Like that's nearly. That's basically the size of my forehead in the book. That is just free space. This is getting juicy. Question five, read a book, 
completely outside of your house. Now, on the website and just kind of in the video to do with the Reading Rush Challenge, they speak about the fact that you can interpret this question in any way you want. So I interpreted it as um, a book that transports me into the outside world. The fact that we're going through a pandemic and it's not ideal to be outside, um, unless I wanted to do it in my garden, but I wanted to do something a little bit different and exciting. So I have here Just So Stories by Rudyard Kipling. This is a Penguin classic. I believe this was released in 1902. This is quite exciting, I think. Woohoo! This is just a collection of fables, but they are all based around like animals. And let me just hold on. I'm gonna just read you some of the some of the different fables. The first one is called How the Whale Got His Throat, and then you've got How the Camel Got His Hump, How the Rhinoceros Got His Skin, How the Leopard Got His Spots. So yeah, it's all about how certain parts of animals came to be, and I think that's just a really lovely little uplifting idea. And there's nice, um, so there's nice cute little illustrations there. What a lovely little read, I'm excited. Okay, so question six. Read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. So I saw this as a wonderful excuse to read The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Bonet. So I don't really read classics, memoirs, classics and non-fiction. They're the three that jumped out at me the most that I don't read. So I thought, to kick it off and not and not dive too deep is uh to finish a secret garden because i read this to my nan i didn't finish it we didn't get very far and i remember enjoying it but i think again i was just too young to actually lap it up i don't know do you know what i mean so i've decided to give the secret garden a whirl and just classics in general and i thought that this was a good place to start something familiar so yeah i've gone for the secret garden Whoop. last but definitely not least we have question seven which is read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live this book is The Blind Man's Garden by Nadeem Aslam. This is about two foster brothers who live in a small city in Pakistan and one of them is a medical student and the other brother is a drifter in love with a woman he can't have. Um, and then it's all about the conflicts in Afghanistan after 9-11 and it's all about the brothers both decide to go to Afghanistan um, and enter the country secretly to help take care of the wounded and to just look after people in general and it's all about their experience there i am extremely excited to read this book i have been wanting to read it for ages this would be the perfect opportunity to pop this one in so yeah they are all the books for my reading rush challenge 2020 so all together that means i will be reading 1806 pages I'm super excited. Like I said, it takes part on the 20th to the 26th of July. This is my first time ever doing any form of challenge ever. I've been watching loads of other people's TBRs and it's just so exciting. I would love to hear if any of you guys want to take part and what you would read. I think the questions are so good and it's just a little bit of fun. But yeah, I have had tons of fun picking these and sharing them with you guys. I can't wait to hear which books you have chosen that wraps up my reading rush challenge 2020 i hope that you guys have enjoyed the video yeah i shall see you in the next one sick bye